Hi friends, it's Michelle from the Amazium. I'm here today to show you some fun activities to be able to pull out at home. I'm going to show you how to create a sensory bin. It's important to gather a container that's not too tall but not too shallow. And as you can see, I've just used a shoebox. I have yarn, some tinsel, an ornament, some pom-poms in here too. If you don't have any pom-poms, you can take some string, bind them up together. YouTube has great tutorials for pom-pom creation. Second, we have sand sensory bin. And this bin is so much fun. I've used a lot of recycled materials. We have lots of shells that we can add, a cinnamon stick, a recycled container that's fun to put pom-poms in, some ribbons. The next bin I'm super excited excited to show you. We used out of some materials we found in my garage. We chose wood chips or perhaps you have some mulch you can stick inside of a bucket. It would work all the same. So this one, like I said, is one of my favorites. I put in some picture frames. Um, I put some feathers in here, adding a little bit of texture to the rough nature of the wood chip. Some of my shells, some stones, crystals are great to work with. So if you're interested in creating a sensory bin to keep your kiddos engaged and just a little bit more fine motor skill dexterity to their development, uh, I definitely recommend these sensory bins. They're a whole lot of fun and it's a great opportunity for you and the kids to go ahead and look around the house or look around the vicinity, uh, collect all those items that might be fun to stick together to opposite textures. So we have the feathers and the wood chips or perhaps the sand and the pom-poms. Have fun with your sensory bins and make sure that you let us know how creative you guys got. We will love to see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. To amazing you.